Alright boys and girls, so in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the two new Jaguars in Roblox Driving Empire. So yeah, one is 2011 Jaguar CX-75 and one is 2012 Jaguar SKR. That's what we're going to be reviewing these two cars in today's video. And yeah, so let's go to the dealership right now to see the price, alright, and the vehicle status with fully stock. Alright, so I'm on the dealership right now and we're going to go to the new vehicle. So yeah, as you guys see, this is... Is the 2012 Jaguar SKR. It's part of the Jaguar car collection, but you can get it in the dealership. So let's see. Um, the price is forty-five thousand dollars. Okay, and based on the vehicle static with fully stock, it's 186 miles per hour, 48 percent of acceleration, 43 percent of handling, and 47 percent of braking. All right, all right, owned it. And the next one we're going to be review is 2011 Jaguar CX75. Okay, this looks like a supercar. Look at that. And the price is $1.3 million. And based on the vehicle status, with fully stock, is 220 miles per hour, 59% of acceleration, 60% of handling, and 48% of braking. Okay, the detail is pretty insane, dude. Look at that. That is so nice. Alright, so let's see how the startup. Let's go. Okay, the sound is amazing. Holy crap. Let's open this. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. Let's open everything and we're going to go to free cam. All right. There we go. Look at the interior, dude. Oh, look at the, oh, the button. That is neat. I like that. The speedometers. Yeah. The steering things. Okay. The air conditioner. The screen. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is very nice. I like this. Oh, the extra seat in the back. Nice. Okay. We can put stuff in the back trunk. Okay. Wow. And the engines. Wow. Look at this. So neat. I like the engine. Not gonna lie. It's super realistic. And the detail. Wow. Super detailed, dude. Alright. Let's do the 2011. Okay, the startup is good. The rev, I'm not too sure, but it's all right. And let's see the interiors. And yeah, we're gonna do the free camp, but let's open everything first. Um, can you open the trunk? I don't think you could. All right, free camp time. Let's see. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is so nice. Jaguar logo. Oh, even the engines too. Jaguar. Okay. Oh my goodness, very nice. We got the CX-75, pretty neat. Alright, so the engine just look good. Everything looking so good right now. Holy crap. Interiors, okay, look at this. The interior, oh, the speedometers look nice. Okay, the steering wheels, okay. Um, the button, air conditioner button, and the rear button, okay. I like this. Uh, boost, launch, okay. Okay, <laughs> we got these start and stop engines. Okay, look at that. That is so nice. All right, let's do a dry race. Let's go. All right, here we go in three, two, one, and go. Okay, the lost control is all right. Oh, we got the active spoiler. Nice. All right, so yeah, it's kind of pretty slow. The lost control is pretty slow. And we got 7.2 seconds. All right. On to the next car, which is the um, 2012 Jaguar SKR. So let's do it. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and go. Okay. The lost control is pretty slow. All right. <laughs> we get seven point. Oh, it's eight seconds. Okay. All right, so now let's fully upgrade. Let's go. All right, performance in engines, race engines, pretty cheap. Wow. Oh, oh. I think the engine is kind of broken, but that's fine. Alright, race engine, aspiration, quad turbo, and you get free supercharge. Okay, that's W. Race brakes. Alright, pretty cheap to upgrade. Net trends, install, and premium boost. And I forgot the tires. Yep, there we go. And boom, easy. And drive train is rear wheel drive, so let's put all wheel drive. There we go. It's installed. There we go. So everything should be set. Yup, everything should be set. 
So based on the vehicle's stat, with fully mass upgrade, is 223 miles per hour, 53% of acceleration, 49% of handling, 71% of braking, and 91% of net trains. Okay, and we're gonna upgrade the other cars. Alright, engines, raise engines. Yep, alright. Cool, quad turbo. There we go. Brakes, race brakes on. Oh my god, I hate that thing, bro. It just... <laughs> I don't know why it's like that, but, you know, it's annoying. Alright, there we go. And then Netrans install, and we're gonna upgrade this bad boy. And then drivetrain is rear-wheel drive, so let's put all-wheel drive. There we go. Now, everything should be set. Yep, everything is all set. So based on the vehicle static with fully mass upgrade is 264 miles per hour, 75% of acceleration, 65% of handling, 75% of braking, and 91% of net trains. I can tell this car is pretty good for circus race, not gonna lie, but we're gonna find out. So let's do a dry race, guys. Alright, here we go. In 3, 2, 1, and boom. Okay, the acceleration is pretty dang fast. Okay, that's nice. And we're gonna get 4.9 seconds. Okay. The handily. Oh, that's pretty nice. That was a nice turn, not gonna lie. Alright, so let's do the, the 2012 Jaguar SKR. Alright, here we go. In 3, 2, 1, and go. Oh. <laughs> Alright, the last control is pretty good. I can't lie. When you upgrade it, it's pretty good. So we got 6.2 seconds. And let's do a circus race and we're gonna fast forward. Okay, honestly, this car is not surprisingly good at the circus race, but honestly, this car, keep as a car collection because it's pretty cheap. $45,000 is not a bad price on this car, but it's pretty cheap. And yeah, this car, I would say keep as a car collection. Not really good for circus race, but unless if you guys can do this car for like, you know, role playing, you know what I'm saying? So keep it as a car collection, all right? And now let's do uh, the 2011 Jaguar CX-75 and we're gonna speed on this in Circus Race. Okay, yo, this car is actually quite good. Yeah, I can't lie. It's quite pretty good. 2 minutes and 49 seconds on this car. And yeah, this car is actually pretty good. Like, I can't lie. So, $1.3 million is pretty good price on this car. So, you guys can get this for circus race because the handling is pretty good. The braking is very smooth. And the top speed, almost 300 miles per hour. But the top speed with Nitrous on is 290 something. And yeah, this car is quite good. I like this car. So... Yeah, um, this car, I would give this car like 7.5 out of 10 because this car is actually quite good. But yeah, um, you guys can get this if you guys want to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, um, okay, that's it for the video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you miss any of my detaining content. So yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.